supplementary acute angle for 120. What's the supplementary acute angle for 120? Okay, so you do 180 minus 123. later, okay, I just want you to remember that to find the supplementary acute angle or the supplementary obtuse angle, I have to do the 180 minus the other angle, right? So if I do 180 minus 123, that gives me 57. But instead of writing 57 here, I'm just gonna, just for the purpose of you seeing it, okay, that's all, that's all what it is. What's cosine of 57 or what's cosine of 180 minus 123? Is that the same as this one? Except it's possible. So if this is angle A right here, if this is, if this is angle A, right, sine of 180 minus A, what can you, can you, can you tell me what is special about these? Sine of A and sine of 180 minus A? They're the same, they're equal to each other, right? So can I say that sine of A is equal to 180 minus A? Yes. Yeah? Because if you look here, sine of A is 0 0.8387. Sine of 180 minus 1, uh, 123 or 180 minus A, that's 0 0.8387. Right? They're equal to exactly the same thing. How about cosine of A and cosine of 180 minus A? Same but opposite sign. So if it, cosine A is equal to negative cosine of 180 minus A, right? If this is negative, right? And then negative and negative makes it positive, right? So if this is negative, negative and negative makes it positive. So always remember that they're opposite sign. And for us to, re, to write it as opposite sign, we just put a negative in front of it. How about tan of A? And 10 of 180 minus A. Negative 10 of 180 minus A. Okay. okay. You guys can do this. This question is pretty easy. What I want to ask you here
your final answer. Yeah. Okay. How about, do this for me. Sign of 1 to 2, 9. Did you do a sign of 1 to 9 for me? Sign of 159. So why did you only give me one answer? There's two answers that give you this. You're admitting one. Then you get half the marks. No, no, no. I asked you to find angle A. two ways. I would tell you how many answers can you find for angle A? Yes. Because you should know that sign is positive for both acute and obtuse. Yes. Because the calculator are only programmed to give you one answer. And it's your brain that needs to know that no, I need two answers for this. Because both answers will give me the correct, the, the, the answer, okay? So not only are you going to report it, you report one angle, you have to say 21 degrees, and 180 minus 21, which is 159. So your answer for this should be both of them. Because another thing I'm going to ask you, Sign A is 0 0.3542. Angle A is obtuse, acute, or either. What would be your answer for this? Sign A is 0 0.3542. Angle A is, pick one, acute, obtuse, or either. What will be your answer for this? Either. Either. Because it could be either this or that. It's a bit confusing. Because it is not zero to nine. No, sign is positive for both angles. Go back to your lesson from yesterday. Right? Remember yesterday? Sign was positive for all of them. Up to obtuse and acute. Because it's in the second quadrant. Just only so in your this angle? Kind of question, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just because we have, like, and again, these are used, okay, guys, just so you know that we're not, I'm not trying to confuse you here, but um, there, is, there is actual application questions to these, but we don't, we don't learn them in this course, but, um, if you guys done or have done the mixed level or the U level uh, before, when we do the sign law, and don't just forget it if you don't want to know this, when we do the sign law in triangles, right, when in, in word problems, we have what we call the ambiguous case, right? And then in the ambiguous case, I have to find two answers because of the sign. Sign is positive for both acute and obtuse, then I might have two scenarios. Right? The person 
that the two people can be at an angle of this or they could be at an angle of this. So we have to find two answers, but we don't do it in this course, okay? So there is an application to this. It just we don't do it in this course, okay? Now, so anytime I give you a sign, it's gonna be positive because we're only dealing with the first two quadrants, right? And then you're always gonna find me what? Two answers, okay? Now, what if, what if I give you this? Can I ask you to find angle A for me? Try this again, whoever is getting the negative number. So for angle A, what did you guys get? 148. 38. Give me a calculator. Because you're doing sign. I don't know why you're Guys, it's cosine, huh? How many answers do you have for this? No, that does not make me happy. Cosine is only negative where? Cosine is only negative where? In the second quadrant, right? So you only have an obtuse angle for that. The only one that will have two answers, eyes on me, the only one that will have two answers is the only one that will have two answers is the sine. Cosine, if it's negative, you're going to get the obtuse angle. That's it. Period. What's your answer for this? And that's how you're going to report to me? Okay, now, eyes on me, please. When you do 10 inverse of a negative number, you're going to get the negative angle. Okay? And you got negative 50. When you enter this in the calculator, it's going to give you negative 53. We're going to omit the negative. I know 10 is negative in the second quadrant. So that's going to be my 53. Right? And my angle is going to be 180 minus 53, which is going to be 127. So my answer is going to be 127. Okay? Yes. I know. By negative, if it's if it's from here to here, which we're not gonna deal with that. Right? We're not gonna deal with that because that's where the negative 53 is. Okay? So what you're going to do, you're gonna omit that negative, you're gonna forget about it.
then you're going to put it as your supplementary acute angle. And then you're going to find your obtuse angle. Okay? Can I understand you? You can do that because the divider yeah. both sides. Okay. Half the same, right? Because look here, this angle here is exactly the same as this angle here because what we call the, op the opposite angles, okay? So these angles are the same. If this is 53, then this is 53 as well, okay? So the trickier one are going to be sine and tan. Cosine is going to be pretty straightforward. Cosine is going to be pretty straight, straightforward. If you put it in the calculator, it's going to give you the answer that you need. Tan is going to be a little confusing, so you have to do extra work. Sine, you got to remember, you need to find two answers always for sine. Ten's gonna be no. Ten always one answer. Okay. Oh, Come here. Let's look at this. Sine is positive where? Sine is positive where? Just the first quadrant. In the first quadrant. Ladies at the back. In the first quadrant and second quadrant. So that's why I have two answers. Cosine is positive where? First quadrant. So if I'm looking for, if cosine is positive, then I'm only going to get an acute angle. That's it. Now, 10 is positive. Where is 10 positive? First quadrant. Can sine be negative in the first or second quadrant? No. Cosine is negative in second quadrant. So when you find your answer, if it's negative, it's going to be obtuse. 10 is negative in the second quadrant as well. So for the cosine, we always have to minus it from 180, right? For the 10. For the, for the 10? Yeah. If you do cos inverse of a negative number, the calculator is programmed to give you the obtuse. It's all about the programming yes, of the calculator. For the test. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about how the, the calculator is programmed. And unfortunately, the calculator.